Hey guys, this is a Sunday Swap Dex tutorial. Sunday Swap is one of the biggest DEXs on Cardano and you can swap all of the coins listed on the Cardano network on this DEX. And you can also add liquidity to this DEX as well if you wanna earn some extra income from trading fees. I'll show you how all of that works. So we're gonna come straight to the Cardano DEX. Um, and I'm just gonna quickly show you around the homepage. Now you wanna to come to uh, exchange.sundayswap.finance. That is the URL, make sure you go to that one because you know there might be some scams out there. Uh, you don't wanna obviously uh, use any of those. So on the decks, when you come to the actual website, uh, you've got this menu on the left-hand side and this is gonna help us navigate. And then down here we have all of the trading pairs. Obviously when you trade tokens or, or coins, um, you have to uh, sell one into another. So you can see them all here and they're listed by the biggest so obviously the Sunday ADA pool is the biggest now what you can see down here is the 0.3% LP fee this is as it says here a small fee taken from the asset swapped to pay the liquidity provider so you can think of this as your trading fee when you swap one coin for another you're gonna to have to pay 0.3 to the uh, liquidity provider who's letting you swap uh, the, the coins you can come down and see the trading fees here most of them are 0.3 um, but depending on the coin that may change it might be it might be a little bit more or a little bit uh, lower you can see the total lock Sunday and ADA in the pool. This shows you how big the pool is. So you can see that there's 11 million ADA in here. ADA, as of making this video, is around about a dollar. So there's 11 million dollars worth of ADA locked in this pool that you can, you know, trade. If you go down to more as well, uh, you can just see some extra details. So uh, the price of one Sunday. Uh, for ADA. So if you're sending or selling ADA, uh, you have to sell 0.63 ADA to get one Sunday. This will obviously change as well throughout time. Um, and you can see some other details. There's also something called yield farming right here. And this is basically um, a little incentive that Sunday are giving at the moment to add liquidity to this pool. Um, so you can get some yield, firm, yield farming rewards. Uh, so you can get new Sunday tokens if you do that. This is a short term incentive. Over time, this will be reduced and, and probably stopped overall. All right, so to use the DEX, you're gonna to have to have a Cardano wallet. Current supported wallets on Sunday Swap are NAMI wallet and also CC Vault. You can actually see up in the top right hand corner, what you wanna do is add your wallet. So if I just uh, click off that, definitely come up to the top right. So you've got some menu settings here, which you know aren't really useful, but this is where your wallet is connected. So click here, you can see I've got my NAMI wallet connected already, um, but you can disconnect this here and then connect any wallet that you have. This is on a Chrome browser, so you're gonna need a Chrome extension as your wallet. I do recommend NAMI, but CC Vault is also supported and apparently is very good as well. I haven't used it myself. What is NAMI? It is a wallet that you need to uh, download and then obviously get set up. I'm not gonna go through that in this video. I've got a NAMI wallet tutorial in the description. If you wanna go through it, setting up the wallet, um, step by step, watch that video. If you already have an ADA wallet, for example, Yoro wallet or Daedalus wallet, um, you can actually load it into NAMI wallet. You don't need a new wallet. What you can do is download the NAMI wallet extension. And when it says, do you wanna start a new wallet or load an existing one, you can load your existing wallet into NAMI uh, and then you don't have to send the coins anywhere. So just to keep that in mind. Next, what we need to do is get some ADA coins into our NAMI wallet so that we can trade. So what I'm gonna do is use Binance here. If you have crypto.com or any other exchange um, where you can buy Cardano, then obviously this is gonna be the same process. I'll leave a link to Binance in the description if you don't have it, because they do support Cardano um, and they have very cheap trading fees. So what you're gonna do once you've got your NAMI wallet, um, so I'm just gonna bring up my NAMI wallet right here. Um, so this is it. And what you're gonna have to do obviously is receive coins. So you're gonna go to receive and then click copy on the wallet address. So now I've got my NAMI wallet address to send coins to, and I can paste that in here in the withdrawal. Now the network, obviously you're gonna have to use ADA, Cardano, don't use another net network, it won't work. Once you've got those coins transferred over, again, if you don't know how to do that, I'll leave uh, tutorials in the description to NAMI and Binance uh, on how to use it and how to buy coins. But essentially once you do that, uh, you'll have some coins in your NAMI wallet and then you connect. You can connect it up to Sunday Swap. So I'm gonna show you how to swap tokens. It's very simple. It's pretty much the same as Uniswap or another DEX if you use that. So I'll just show you. Obviously connect up your, your wallet, either CC Vault or NAMI wallet, whichever one. Um, and then first before swapping, we have to look at the queue because this is kind of different, right? So Cardano is a very different chain to Ethereum. Um, and it's also, um, 
not got that much space at the moment. And so there's this thing called the queue on Sunday swap. So what this means is that um, essentially there are a lot of people trying to trade um, and the network is quite clogged up as of making this video. So the depth count basically tells you how many people or how many orders are in at the moment in this uh, liquidity pool um, that you have to wait until your order gets through. Now, obviously on the Sunday ADA pool, which is the most popular, you have a very large depth count. This means a lot of people are wanting to trade. This isn't great because it means you're gonna have to wait a very long time for your trade to go through. Um, that's not great. If you come down to the meld ADA liquidity pools, you can see the depth count is lower. And then if you come down to some smaller pools, so we can go to home again, and then come down here to some much smaller tokens, uh, you won't have to wait at all. So just to be uh, sure, make sure the queue um, is either small or if it's big, then what you're gonna have to do is increase your slippage tolerance. I'll show you what that is and, and why that's important. But essentially, if you think about it, if the queue is very large, you're gonna have to wait a very long time for your order to go through. And so this means that the price, the market price of this trading pair may change substantially between when you place your order and then um, when it goes through. So if you don't allow for that, then it may not ever go through. So we're gonna go over to swap right now and we need to choose a, a liquidity pool. You can actually come over to the homepage and basically choose one. So I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna go over to the right hand side and click swap and it will take us just straight through to this swap page. So I'm, I've got some ADA in my wallet, so let's just go through with this and press five. You can see it automatically chooses how much Sunday that I'm gonna get. Now, uh, everything is, is fine here, but what you wanna do is come to the settings and click on slippage tolerance. Like I said, slippage is the difference between the price that you see when you press swap and the actual price um, that the two coins trade at when that trade occurs. And that's gonna be a very long time difference in this pool because we've seen the queue is very high. So I would make sure that your slippage is quite high overall if you want the trade to go through. This is not an ideal situation. It isn't great because you really have no choice and you don't know what the price is gonna do. So what I'm gonna show you is just a, an, an illiquid pair to really kind of get something done. Um, so let's choose this one. We'll go to more, swap. Just gonna swap some ADA in. So let's say I want to swap for ADA and I can get some of this token. I'm gonna to click swap right here. It's gonna show me the effective price. You saw my slippage tolerance is at three. I'm gonna go order swap like this. So what that does is actually goes into your orders. Uh, we have to obviously yeah, um, sign it with the wallet as well. So you can see I actually pay like a, a, a fee as well on top. So I'm just gonna press sign. Um, obviously put my password in. Press confirm on that, it's gonna go through. Now what's different is that you can actually see your orders and they can be pending for a very long time. So if you come to your orders, um, you can see these uh, uh, transactions submitting on-chain and on-chain order history. So with Cardano, if you put uh, an order in and it doesn't go through, you can cancel it and get all of your money back. So on Ethereum, if you try and put a trade in and you don't have enough gas or it doesn't go through for some reason, you will still get charged gas fees. On Cardano, it doesn't work like that. You can uh, put an order in and it can be on chain, um, but if it doesn't go through, just come up here on the right hand side, there will be a, bo a button to cancel. Just cancel the order. As long as nothing's gone through, it will cancel and you'll get completely um, all, all of your fees and everything else back to you. So that order's been accepted and what you can see now is that it's a waiting scoop. So this is just another weird thing about uh, Cardano or specific thing I should say about Cardano and Sunday Swap. So you can see my order is to swap for ADA for this uh, Wi-Fi um, and then max acceptable price. We can see here the current price is 2.309. My max acceptable price is 2.379. So we're well within my tolerance and you can see it's a waiting scoop. So what it's doing now is awaiting you know, that, that to happen. What I can do is press cancel order right here. And as long as the, the order hasn't gone through, I can cancel the order and no fees will be charged. The order has now gone through as well, just waited a few minutes there. So what we can see is the on-chain order history. The order was a swap for ADA, uh, went through, uh, and we, we can see the uh, price that we paid, You know the trading fee, the exchange price, and that is completed. 
Now what we want to do is go and add liquidity. Also, before we add liquidity here, if you want to know how I invest in crypto and how I use DeFi to earn passive income, I have an entire section in my course. You can see that here, um, going through all of the uh, reasons why I use it and all of the benefits and everything like that and how to work out how to make passive income. I'll leave the link in the description if you do want to see that. But I'm going to go over to adding liquidity, um, which is obviously something that we can do to earn uh, passive income from this DEX. So when you provide liquidity, like I said, when you swap coins, there's two coins and you can swap those and people add their coins into the pool um, to provide other traders with liquidity and then you can earn those trading fees that we just paid when we swapped. So what you wanna come and do is pre uh, press provide liquidity um, and then we need to select two coins that we have. Because my wallet is connected, it shows all the coins that I have, so really easy to do. So I'm gonna click ADA here and then select the other coin. Obviously ADA is blacked out, you can't add the same coin twice. I'm just gonna click uh, VIFI right here. Um, and then you can uh, basically choose how much that you wanna put in. What I would do is maybe press max on this one and it will show you um, how many ADA. Now you have to put them in in a specific ratio. Um, so whatever the ratio is in the pool, you have to put them in in that ratio because obviously when people swap, they're swapping one for another and there's obviously a price between them, an exchange price, and that's how you have to add them in. What you can see is that Sunday Swap has basically automatically chosen the, the liquidity provider fee that we're going to charge. You, can uh, you can't change this. You can change this on other exchanges. It looks like on uh, Sunday Swap, you can't for now. So it's basically just going to auto choose that when I add liquidity, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, earn 0.3% as a trading fee from people that use the liquidity. Now, if the pool is, let's say, a million dollars and you put $100,000 in, then you have 10% of the pool and all of the uh, fees that the pool earns, you'll get 10% of those. So I'm going to come down here and press provide liquidity. Um, and obviously that will go through an, as an on-chain transaction. So you do need some ADA in your account to pay for these fees left over. When you, when you uh, press provide liquidity, obviously go through that. And then these coins you can see here in this amount will be put into the liquidity pool. In return, you will get something called an LP token, which is a liquidity provider token. It's basically like a receipt that tells you how much of that liquidity pool that you own. Then if you wanna take your coins back out again, you just um, obviously, you'll come over to liquidity right here and your yield farming positions will be down here at the bottom. There will be a button on the right hand side to say withdraw liquidity. Then what you can do, obviously you, you link up your wallet, you'll have those LP tokens in there and obviously it will recognize that you have the LP tokens for that pool. So you basically swap back your LP tokens and let's say your LP tokens represent 10% of the pool, they'll give you back the right amount of the of the pool uh, back to your wallet and you'll get those two tokens back. Now something to be really aware of is something uh, called impermanent loss. Impermanent loss is quite difficult but essentially when you add two coins to a pool they go in at a set price but that price can move right because the two assets obviously move in price every day and they can get quite far away from each other. When that happens you can suffer a loss because you're basically gonna have more of one coin than the other because of how the liquidity pool actually works. So you're getting 0.3 as a, as a fee for all of the liquidity and all of the trade, but there may be something called impermanent loss as well. Just to keep that in mind, it may be uh, quite a lot. Now, I've actually got a video and a link to an impermanent loss calculator in my crypto course. Um, so if you wanna learn more about that, definitely go to the course. It's too complex to explain in this video, but impermanent loss may take away from your profits um, that you earn from other people paying you this 0.3% fee on what they trade. Sunday Swap is still a very new deck, so there's going to be some improvements coming. I'll leave the links to Sunday Swap, Binance, Nami Wallet, and everything like that, and some other tutorials in the description. If you want to know more about how I use DeFi and earn passive income, the crypto course is linked down there as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.